Welcome back to the channel. I am excited that you are here. Today's video is a what's sold, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so I had 14 orders over the weekend. So the weekend was quite good for me. I am not a high volume seller. I am aiming for a high ASP. And I am happy to say that my average sale price over the weekend was $74.51. So I am very happy with that. You will see from the collection that I have around me that there's been some really good sales and some not so good sales that I am just glad that these items are getting out of my store because I don't want them. So let's go through the 14. So before I start, I'll let you know that normally my items are pre-packaged in satchels in my system, but I've taken them all out today so that I can show you what's sold so that you can get an idea of what is selling on eBay. So first up, we have this Sassen by Dress. It's really cute, midi length. I did try it on, I'll admit that, but did not look good on me. So this one sold for $40 and I ended up with $21 and $92 profit. Um, and it only took nine days to sell. So this one actually had, I think, about 14 watches on it, which I was so surprised about. I, I find that Sass and Bide is a bit hit and miss sometimes, but uh, nine days, very happy. I probably paid maybe a tad bit too much for it. I did pay, I think, $12 or $14 but I still hit my target of over $20 profit. And I still want more than that, but I'll take $20 and a nine day turnaround time. Next up is just a pair of corporate pants. Corporate black pants by Veronica Main. I, I probably stopped picking up this kind of pant, but it was in my death pile. I picked them up for, I think $3. I sold them for $29.99, so I still had a profit of $23.70. And they were in my death pile, and they only sold for um, after nine days as well. So a really good turnaround time for 20 bucks profit. But will I pick them up religiously like that? Probably not. They just don't give me joy to sell, so I'll leave them to someone else. So next up is this a trenary dress. It's got a really lovely pattern. This one's a size 14. I'm finding Trenary is picking up again. It was a bit quiet there for a while and I had a few items in my store, but I'm finding that they are turning over a lot better than they were. So this one I sold for $43 and I had a profit of $27.54 and it took just three weeks to sell. The next item is really cute. I picked this one up in Adelaide last year when I went for a thrifting trip with Cass. Um, this one's um, a curate by Treelease Cooper. It's a little cardigan with dragonflies on it. I also delayed enlisting this one. I obviously have an issue with my death pile. Um, it still took four months to sell. So would I pick it up again? I probably take a hard look at it. Four months is probably on the cusp for me of probably leaving it behind. I ended up selling it for $79 and I got a profit of $38.26. So I actually bought it for $25. So I definitely paid up for it. Um, and I think even it took four months to sell, I'd probably leave it behind next time. But it's a cute sale and I'm glad that someone's Someone's going to get to wear it because it's in like, like new condition. All right, this one I'm so happy is going out of my store. It only took two weeks to sell, but I didn't check it over all that well when I purchased it. It is like a drape cardigan kind of top. It's by Dogstar, um, but it has a few imperfections on it which I listed, I ended up selling it for $40. I got a profit of $29.29, which given the, the state of it, I think is pretty darn good, but I am worried that the buyer is going to complain. I'm hoping that they looked at all the photos and the description 
and I don't get a return. But it's always something that I'm concerned about when I list something that has flaws. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it doesn't come back. Hopefully it just goes and gets loved and they have no issue. So this is an item that I probably wouldn't pick up again. It is a floral jumpsuit by Dish. So Dish is having a run at the moment, but jumpsuits just aren't my thing. I find them so awkward to photograph and I just, I just don't think they ever look good. So I'm pretty happy that this one has sold. Um, it sold for $35 uh, on offer. Um, my profit was $22.53 and it only took five days to sell. So I probably should be open to purchasing the same thing again. But it, yeah, I just, it just, I just looked at it and I didn't want to photograph it. So I'll consider it, but I think it's something that I'll probably leave behind in the future. Another dress, this one is by Dangerfield. This one has been sitting in my straw for way too long. And I'm, again, I'm glad to see it go. It's so cute. I have a love-hate relationship with Dangerfield and Revival, actually. They have some a gorgeous prints, but some of the stuff just seems to sit around forever. And I don't understand. I don't understand how someone can't love it. So this one, I ended up taking an offer of $29. My profit was $19.36. And it sat around for four months. So... but moving on something a little bit different i sold this rafa cycling jersey i picked it up for six dollars and i sold it for 45 which leaves me a profit of 29 dollars and 35 cents this one sold the same day so it can never never be mad i'll pick that up every day of the week So a brand to be on the lookout is called La Boheme Girls. So I have heard of this brand, but I've never found it in the wild. I paid a $14 for this animal print maxi dress. It's a one size fits all. Um, and I sold it for $125 on offer. It took six weeks to sell, so not a bad turnaround time. And my profit was $97.33. So I'm more than happy to wait six weeks for a nearly $100 profit. So I feel like I've been talking about a few things that I probably wouldn't pick up again. And here's another one. So these are 511 Tactical Pants. They're just women's work pants. I sold them for $30.00. And they gave me a profit of $17.57, but they took five months to sell. So these are not my jam. I didn't have many tops uh, sell over the weekend, but I did have this little country road number. This one is 100% French linen with some really cute ruffle sleeves. It sold uh, on offer for $40. I made a profit of $27.90. And it only took three weeks to sell. So pretty good. All right, the next item is probably my favorite sale from the weekends. I have two. This is the first one. So this is a vintage RM Williams snap satin shirt. It is so cute. It's so gorgeous. I just love the fact that it's so vintage with the old longhorn tag. This one I took an offer of $112.49 and my profit was $95.50. It only took a week to sell and I'm actually surprised it took that long because usually vintage RM sells are really, really fast, but I am very, very, very happy with this sale. I'm actually gonna wrap it in some tissue paper just to protect it on its journey to its new owner. So the last two sales are actually international post items. If you don't have international post turned on, you need to do so. I average on probably two to 10 parcels a week, to be honest, overseas. So it's definitely worth it. Um, 
So the first one is this Sportscraft Liberty dress. This is 100% linen. This is actually going to a buyer in the States who has bought off me, I'd say probably five or six times. They're a really regular customer for my Sportscraft Liberty. Uh, so this one's going to them. So that Sportscraft Liberty dress sold for $55 on offer. I made a profit of $44.73. And that one sold same day. So the last item for the weekend is this Emilio Pucci skirt. I couldn't believe my eyes when I found it a couple of months ago. Genuine pure silk um, with this kind of bird pattern on it. It's really cool. So this one sold on offer for $139.99 and my profit was $121.73. This one's actually going to Japan. So I am going to do the same thing as I did with the vintage RM Williams shirt. I'm going to wrap it in some tissue paper to protect it. And I've started using padding, padded mailers to send overseas um, just to give that added protection as well. Okay, so everything is packed and post ready to go to the post office. So out of those 14 orders, I ended up selling $843 in uh, items and my profit ended up being $618. So very happy with those weekend sales. Let me know what you were surprised by, what you didn't know about. Is there any new brands to you? Is there anything that you stay away from when reselling any of those brands? Um, let me know in the comments and I will see you on the next video. Bye.